What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing a, another stipulation draft, this time by longtime supporter, Not the Plague. And the stipulation literally just says five color super friends. So that's what we're going to do. And you know what? We're going to first pick a treachery. But Frank, there's a five color stipulation and you're passing a bird of paradise. That's true. Because we don't know if we're going to be base green. A lot of the fixing in the five color super friends deck comes from gruel, like signets and artifacts and mana. And I'm, I'm prioritizing lands very, very high. I mean, what sort of person doesn't like food or getting packages in the mail? This is both. I agree with you in reference to HelloFresh, the sponsor of the stream. So definitely check them out. You can use my promo code, P-O-G-H-F-29324. And uh, if you do that, you're going to get 21 free meals over the course of your first eight deliveries, along with free shipping. Should come to about 30 to 40 bucks on your first order. Rob said he got 10 meals for $42, which is insane. That's like $4 a meal. And it's like actual, like real meals, not just like frozen meals. They're actually like meals that you cook yourself with fresh ingredients. And uh, it's a great way to support the channel. This time I might take Noble Hierarch. No, maybe? No, I'd rather have a Signet. I'd rather not be reliant on a green mana and a one and a creature. I think we're gonna take the white black. I think there are probably gonna be more white and black planeswalkers like Liliana's and Gideon's and things that we wanna win the game with. And a flooded strand. I like that this is a Golgari Signet, a timeless lotus. If one of these comes back, I will be immensely grateful. But I I can't we're gonna have to take every like every fetch land that we see. And also it's gonna be one of those drafts with like Really awkward mana where we have to like do do math equations to figure out how many sources we have. Hmm, Signet. Sylvan Library is also not bad. I think it's gotta be Sylvan Library. Like just being able to go through your library and get like the correct colors of mana or the correct planeswalkers you need. Like it just, it seems super relevant in this type of deck. I'm already getting my mana planning out. Out, done, ready. Ready is the word I'm looking for, getting it ready. Not only are you 11-1 with the pain stipulation, you only lost was against a turn one soul ring. That's good. I mean, that's a good Honestly, I really want the Proving Ground, but I think this Elspeth is probably better. This is probably one of the better high-end Planeswalkers you can get. And we already have Flooded Strand and Orzhov Singer to support her. Got Watson down here. What's up, little champ? Number one? You good, dude? Let me see if I can get him up here. This is Watson. He's a good boy. Uh huh. Gideon Jura seems very good. Hold on, Watson. I gotta take this Gideon. Okay. Eh, probably just gonna take him, take him rather than just highlight him. I don't wanna wait 40 seconds for that. Watson is a miniature schnauzer. Uh, Watson usually just styles his beard on his own and then I just kind of look at him to make sure I got it right. What are you smelling? You're doing big sniffs here. What are you smelling? Hmm? What are you doing, champ? Uh, okay, there's three lands in here and no planeswalkers. I think we're just gonna take Solitude. Because it's just a very strong card. <laughs> and I... The lands we want to prioritize are shock lands, pain lands, not pain lands, uh, shock lands, dual lands, and fetch lands. I said pain lands because they, they hurt you. Unlike Watson, who is a gentleman. What are you doing? You want to go down? You don't like it up here? Okay, 
Let me put you down. And that was Watson. He's a good boy. Outside of the times he gets into the trash cans and eats all our food from our plates. This side of the Mississippi. <laughs> Forgot the disciple. Am I correct in thinking you are from the UK because you said flat earlier? I think we're taking colonnade here. Uh, little man is my kitty and he's out there on the couch laying with Wally right now, I believe. This pack's kind of rough. It's just scavenging is. I don't know. I, I'll just take this guy. I don't think we're going to play it. Noble Hierarch. Okay. You came back. I'm really impressed. I'm impressed, Noble Hierarch, especially with the color of this deck so far. Ah, I'm from New Zealand. That makes sense. What time is it there? Oh, my God. It's got to be like 3 a.m. 4 a.m.? Is it 13 a.m.? Is it 6 a.m.? Oh, God. I don't even know, man. <laughs> I'm from Old Zealand. It's not a... Con it's 1 p.m.? Are you 20 hours ahead? Because it's 5 p.m. here. That's insane. Monastery Mentor actually seems good because we're just going to be casting Planeswalkers, but I don't think it's Utopia Sprawl. That doesn't excite me. I'll take an Oust. Oh, Stop Me Ground came back. I was actually kind of hoping that would happen, to be honest. And we get a Silent Clearing. Five colors coming together. first on the clock <laughs> for some reason that's hilarious You're like oh yeah clock number one. Oh, time walk you know what time walk goes really good with multiple planeswalkers so i'm gonna take the time walk ah, i feel so good guys i'm out of my mountain dew zero sugar spark oh you know what else i found that i've been that i've been drinking periodically Oh, into Mana Drain, huh? Hmm, that's pretty good. Uh, it's Yoohoo. Let's hold it close. Oh, yeah, Yoohoo. Dude, I love Yoohoo so much, and I can never find it anywhere. And just recently, the King Supers near us had a 12-pack, and it was like $8, which is terrible. But I was so tired of not having it. Uh, I'm going to take Mana Drain and we're going to hope Kaito or Karn comes back, but Mana Drain is really good. Turn two Mana Drain into like Gideon, Elspeth, what have you. It's like the thing I love about Yuhu is it's not as rich and fatty as like chocolate milk, but it still hits that chocolate milk itch. Esperland seems really good. So does Verdant Catacomb. I think we're taking the Verdant Catacomb because I think the tower is way more likely to come back. Oh, Windswept Teeth? I don't even have to look at this pack before taking Windswept Teeth, to be honest. Like, that's actually fantastic. Right now we have six good lands. Not the Plague is still in the chat. Karn Liberated is a Planeswalker, and he's one of my favorite Planeswalkers, and it goes great with a Mana Leak, Mana Drain, so I'm going to take it. In a perfect world, Scarab God or Vindicate? Thank Probably Vindicate would come back. I would love to see a Vindicate come back. Jano, 152. Jano, answer me a question real quick. Is it pronounced Jano or Yano? With a Y. Or Yano. Tell me how to pronounce it in the chat, because I never want to... I, I want to not pronounce your name incorrectly, if I was. <laughs> he just spells it. <laughs> how do you pronounce Frank? Uh, Like this, F-R-A-N-K. Okay, now I know, thanks. 
This draft is good. It's making me hungry. If only there was a good and healthy option delivered straight to my home. <laughs> God, if only. Man. Is it pronounced data or data? See, I, but reading that, my brain was like, I know what he's saying here. So right now I have three Planeswalkers. I honestly think Tundra is, in this, in this deck so far, is way more important. Especially with a Mana Drain. Nissa is good, but probably not good for us because of the, the lack of forests. But I will take this Gideon Jura. Oh, oh, it's your boy. Definitely taking Teferi. I would love to have an Arab Mesa, but Teferi is chef's kiss. I'm tempted to take Warren Power Stone here. I do like Rex Sage, though. Power Stone just being going, going for three to, to play any of these on turn four is really good, though. Oh my god, I love this channel, like never actually clarified. He just said it, he just spelled his name, and then he was like, that'll do. That's all you need. <laughs> is it pronounced to tomato or tomato? Also, thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. Oh, the Kaito comes back. Living the dream. We just need more black sources because we have just the silent clearing now. Pretty sure the 152 is also pronounced unfitty do. <laughs> that sounds correct, yeah. See, this is this is why this is why I feel like you guys enjoy this stream because not only do you get this magic content, but really it's just a backdrop for sweet pronunciation chat. And that's what we're all here for. Wow, Baron von Vaderham, that is a deep cut. One, two, three, four. So far, six planeswalkers, which feels pretty good. And a time walk. That's probably the best you can ask for in a deck like this. I was bursting in laugh. Honestly, with your American accent, I have no idea. You are the first one to say it out loud since it's a nickname. So whatever you feel the best. Oh, if it's a nickname, I actually feel much better about that then, right? That makes more sense. Oh, Oracle of Moldiah also seems really good. We're lower on four drops. And this lets us play lands willy-nilly. Sylvan Lyra plus Oracle Moldiah. Two chef's kisses, one draft. You like that? Yeah, so it's Yano Unfididu. <laughs> that's the whole that's the whole name right there. William Nilliam. <laughs> I don't know what that I don't know what that's in reference to, but it was funny to say, so that counts for something, right? All, oh, Augur's good too. Now we got Augur and Oracle. We're playing all the lands off the top of our library. Oh, it's Willy Nilly. <laughs> Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to have chat anymore. Is there a way to turn off your chat or like you guys can keep talking. I just don't want to see it. Should I just close it? Like what happens if I do that? Yeah. My concern right now is literally our mana and I've taken a lot of lands. No, emo would only like I want you guys to still oh see Chrome Coast? Deal. Any early white or blue. Look at this. We got Colony, Flood Strand, Sea Chrome Coast, Tundra. Our white blue lands are perfect right now. We could also get them with both Windswept Teeth and Flood Strand. I can't do another Chef's Kiss, right? Okay, I did it. And I've been rationing my Yoohoos to like once every two days. I'll be like, okay. 
I'll wait a day and they'll have a Yoohoo so that it lasts. Because I don't know if they're going to have them again. And I also don't know if I can keep spending like nine bucks, eight bucks on a 12 pack. Have you ever seen Dane Cook stream? Man, I hate it when the funny people I grew up loving turn. Dude, if you did, Cabal, let me say something. If you didn't know Dane Cook was kind of a douche back in the day, I'm sorry that that it took it took longer to find out. Honestly, there's been a ton of um, cool people that I've that I liked that are just terrible, and it makes me really sad. Justin Roiland being, oh my god, we're really going to be the time walk ancestral deck. Oh, okay. Best part is there's no planeswalkers in here other than Nissa. <laughs> give it to me. Give it to, give it to Papa. I mean, it's funny because the whole Justin Roiland thing is like, wow, that's really terrible. But when you watch Rick and Morty, it's kind of like, eh, I'm not really surprised. Kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. Because then it's like, I, I, I'm so tired of having this, like, separate the art from the artist internal discussion. Like, can I listen to this artist still? Can I listen to this artist still? Can I watch this show still? I don't know. Do I care enough? I don't know. Like, it's really, like, do I care enough to, to still like it? Like, I don't know. Like, it's really, it's kind of frustrating. Actually, I didn't have to restart this time, and it feels less slow than it usually does. Uh, for safety, I'll probably restart after this draft, before the first round. I would take Ugin, but we have Karn. I think it might just be Renin 6, especially when we have three fetch lands already. That seems really good. And if Ugin or Steam Vents or Council's Judgment come back, I'm kind of glad. What if the shitty actor played the villain? Can you still watch and root against them? What do you mean? So, like, same with Harry Potter. I agree completely. But the problem is, like, Katie still loves Harry Potter. It's like, it's like what she grew up with. You know what I mean? And, like, it's really hard to separate the art from the artist with something like that. Like, I know if Stan Lee was, like, if he came out as like some huge shitbag, um, I, it would be heartbreaking to me. But I don't know if I would be able to be like, I'm not going to read Marvel Comics ever again, you know, because that sucks. <laughs> it's hard to do. We're not taking Tezzeret. We'll definitely take Taiga. We can get it with Verdant and Windswept, and it helps our Ren and Six, so it's kind of perfect. We don't have a ton of black cards, actually. And by that, we have like one Kaito. So I think we're actually pretty good getting away with light black. Oh, the sh oh by shitty you mean like bad person? I thought you meant like a bad actor, like a like he's not a good actor. That's a good question. I I don't think so because philosophically it doesn't come down to like I don't want to root for this character in the in the show they're playing or the movie they're playing. It's not the character I'm I'm against, right? It's the performance that they're giving and the support of that. Uh, we're definitely taking... I think we're taking Savannah here. We have way more green. There's a Gary, too. Our deck's actually looking very good right now. We, have, we need three more picks. Uh, so Kevin Spacey in American Beauty is actually extremely creepy. And it's even weird. Like, I, I remember watching American Beauty again, like, even more recently. And I was like, this feels really off. I don't know, man. I don't know if, if, if public perception just changed in such a way. We're definitely taking Scalding Tarn here, especially with a Ren and Six.
Mana base is looking good so far. I think we have four fetch lands and a Renin Six. Not everyone can be Weird Owl or LeVar Burton. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Should we have a second Elspeth? Probably. There's another Elspeth right here. Yeah, this is good. It fits on the curve nicely. I don't care about a five. And this Elspeth actually better with decks that are creature heavy. This Elspeth is better with decks that want creatures. Bribery? We're definitely taking a bribery. This deck's got some hits, man. Ancestral, Time Walk, Mana Drain, Treasury, Bribery? Come on. This deck has got the hits. I kind of think it's Ignoble Hierarch here. And I think we can just add a butt ton of forests. Glad we took this Savannah. Like for green sources, we have Flooded Strand, Savannah. Scalding Tarn gets Stomping Ground. Stomping Ground, Taiga, Verdant, and Windswept Teeth. We already have seven sources of green, and that's without adding any basics. This Nissa uh, gets us a forest. Could also be Oblivion Ring. We don't have a ton of removal right now. I think it's Oblivion Ring here. I'd rather play Oblivion Ring than Oust, to be quite honest. Man, treachery and bribery? Come on. Oh, the Council's Judgment did come back. I didn't think it was this pack, actually. I thought that was an earlier pack. Man, all the cards are blending together. Do we just take Coma as like a sweet late game threat? There's a red and black card though. Oh yeah, we have, this is red and this is black. And I got a ton of lands that produce red and black. We're, we're, we're doing it. The problem is that like a lot of um a lot of there are a lot of planeswalkers that are a lot of neat that are a lot of a lot of neat that are very niche. Like I mean, Koth is not gonna fit in a deck like this. Like the the four mana Duretti that's very artifact centric, also not great. You know what I mean? Um a lot of the black planeswalkers are Oh, wow. I like that Garrick. That's a nice one. Lingering Soul is also very good this late. I'm going to restart and use the restroom after this. I'll just take this Copperfield Gorge. That, also known as Ren and Six Gorge. Cool, 12 seconds ago, two students are dead and one employee is in serious condition after a shooting incident at an educational program in Des Moines, Iowa. America is super cool. <sighs> 
wonderful. I'm so sorry I fell asleep rank. You could tell he fell asleep because he forgot the F. <laughs> Not the plague. I hope this is okay. We have time walk, mana drain, ancestral recall, treachery, bribery. Is it Spire Bluff Canal? I think it is. I think I want the blue fixing here. And a land tax? Wild. I'm also going to take the boys out real quick. I'm going to take a little break. We're going to, I'll be back in like six minutes. I'll restart, go to the bathroom, take the boys out. Everyone's going to go out and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll do this guy. I always tell people it's also known as Ren and Six Gorge and they say, no, nobody has ever called it that. But you know, <laughs> I agree. I think people are just being stubborn about it. Like people, people don't like change, you know. Rank was getting the f out of here. Yeah, that sounds about right. Why are these why are these picks taking so long? This is it, right? 26 and 19. That's my whole deck. What's the hold up here? You know what? We'll go now. All right, welcome back everybody. You didn't go anywhere. I went somewhere. I'm right, welcoming you back. Okay, we need three cuts here. I'm actually tempted to cut auger because it's double white, double blue, double green. I'll, I'll get it right on the third try for sure. And while we have some green, we're not like the heaviest green. I think we are the, see, this is a seven drop though. So that's, that's a little better. We might just be able to cut this. We, we have a lot of wind conditions, including bribery. So I want all of these. Oh, I, did, I forgot we got the noble hierarch too. We got double hierarchs. Wow. I'll go steal some eggs from some birds. Five eggs. God, you're like a millionaire. That's the richest I've ever seen anyone. Um, I think we're just gonna cut one oblivion ring because we still have council's judgment, which I think is better. And now we're gonna sort by color. So we're definitely heaviest white. So our white white pips, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Green. One, two, three, four, five. Red, one, black, one. That's gonna be easy for that. So our lands, black, red, green. Okay, so white sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's good, it's very good without a basic yet. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe seven, I don't think Verdant gets us anything. Do we have a green blue or a black blue? I don't think so. No trilands for us. No, Verdant does not get us a blue source. Okay, black. Black is actually kind of rough. Uh, silent clearing Verdant Catacomb. Two if we include one swamp. No, three if we include swamp, brother which it looks like we have to. I guess we also have Orzov Signet. And Ignoble Hierarch. It's not terrible. Uh, red sources, a million. Don't think we need a mountain here. Uh, Flooded Strand, what do you get? Nothing. 
Okay, Scalding Tarn, obviously. Gets a Taiga, Verdant, Windswoke, gets Taiga. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sources. Uh, green, one. Flooded Strand gets Savannah. Uh, so one, two, three. Taiga, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty good. And with only one black card, I'm not actually too concerned. Um, our blue, I think we add one white, one blue, one black, one green. Actually, that sounds perfect. That's really good. Now we have eight green sources, most of which come into play, or nine green sources. Yeah, this looks sweet. Um, we're going to take a picture of our mana base, though, so that we can remember. I'll just take a picture of the whole deck. That seems smart. Okay, because I don't want to be like, oh, how do I get this? All right. No, it's fine. I'm dumb. I mean, Sparble comes into play untapped, and then it also lets us play Mana Drain off of it, so. You know, like you do. The only card I'm sad about not playing is Coma. That's it. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine planeswalkers, which seems pretty good. Out of 23 cards, it's over a third of our deck. It's like probably 40%. What up, Archangel Titus? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then we wait. The waiting is the hardest part. Thanks, bro. I will play first. I will keep this hand in hopes that I draw white or blue. Times two. If this is a noble hierarch, God, we'd be in business, man. Any blue gets us this, any white gets us Monastery Mentor. So, I, you know, I think we're actually fine here, depending on how broken of a start our opponents have. Oh, they didn't crack immediately. Good for us. See Chrome Coast? Close. That was a very good... Definitely Tundrino. And now we can Ancestral. Get a token. Men Mentor is very good with Planeswalkers because you're just playing Planeswalkers, you know? So then you're getting all these creatures. They're going to kill it, but, you know, still good. Oof. Oof. Yeah. You got it. Land. White land. That's a blue land. That's not very fun at all. It's funny because we have literally... So, you know what's funny? We have 10 white sources. 11, actually, with the basic. And in any... Any regular two-color draft, you're going to have nine, eight, right? So your most represented color is going to be nine. And it's very, very common for you to have two of each color. But here, no. Like, we have more white sources in the deck than we do, than, than a regular deck would have one of their two colors. Oh, interesting. Play it untapped and then just pass the turn. Do you think they have mana drain here? <laughs> How did you lose? Well, you see. Gotta love it. Gotta love it.
Good lord. They have to have Mesmeric Fiend to get our Ancestral. And then we have to draw three double white cards and not hit a second white source out of 10, 11 white sources. How does that even work? Oh my god, really? How? What was your hand? Uh, three, four, five, and six white cards with uh, double white each. This is like, this is, this is... Yep. Oh god, I couldn't even play anything to pre prevent this. <laughs> and this also had to be Ignoble Hierarch rather than Noble Hierarch. If this is Noble Hierarch, like, we go turn, turn three, turn four, turn five, turn, like, it's... Just like flabbergasted at the, like there's like so many things that had to go wrong here. This guy, uh, they had a mesmeric fiend. Uh, we had to not hit a white source. We had to draw all of these double white cards. I mean, there's like six different metrics that could have gone differently. Here's gonna be solitude. solitude remember? Now it's a spire bluff. Canal. I'm just gonna concede here. Like this is unreal. That that <laughs> don't even know what to say about that game. That was wild. I, I. So one, two, three. Oh, dang, I was gonna count. I can count it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Orzov signets eleven. Noble hierarch is twelve sources of white mana. That is magic. Uh, we'll keep this. I mean, these are a lot of good cards that all do cool stuff, so. Let's make sure they don't go Lotus or Mox, right? That's, that would be bad. No one likes that. No change of mind. Hex Drinker. Are we just going to lose to that guy? I mean, probably. The waiting is the hardest part. I mean, this should give us some answers. Like, if we, I'd love to have a council's judgment here, to be honest. Yep, not not that. Two more lands. Elspeth. I guess that Elspeth does kill it if it gets big enough. So we're gonna keep Elspeth on top. We're gonna to play Copperline Gorge. So it comes into play untapped. And then next turn we can set up some decent Oracle of Moldiah hits. Cause even if you make this guy a six six, Elspeth just kills it. Hmm. This makes me think you don't have a third land. Oh, I guess you do. Okay. I will not block. Oh, okay. Um, we're going to draw the Elspeth, put these... No, we're only going to be able to play one extra land, so we'll keep the Elspeth on top still. And then we'll play... Spire Bluff off the top. Katie said she's walking to her car now, so she should be home in like 20 minutes probably. Oh yeah, that dude's huge. But that's great because that's what they did with their turn. So we take six, we play Elspeth, and then we just kill it, right? Get a free token here. That seems wonderful. 
I think they might not know that it dies. What up, Moses the Cool? Been following since you played Bring the Light with Cruel Ultimatums. Glad to see you streaming. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Oh yeah, there's one land. Two lands, huh? Uh, so we'll put... Oh, we just win the game. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess that's all it takes. That's the name of the game. I mean, should I bring an Oblivion Ring? They got some obnoxious things. Yeah, it's better to just win there. That's what I was thinking. I mean, we have Solitude. We have this Elspeth. We have Karn, Treachery, Bribery, Teferi to Bounce, Council's Judgment. I think we, we have Garrick to shoot Hexdrinker before it becomes a big, big manager. I think we're okay. Yeah, it dies to Elspeth Elf 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 because Elf Elspeth isn't targeted. Wow, that was, that was a sentence right there. Uh, we'll keep this because of time walk I guess also none of our lands really are forced to come into play tapped we can choose for all of them to come in untapped which is nice but I'm pretty sure we get a I guess we don't know until we like we could get like if we draw a Ren and six that'd be phenomenal because then we can get back the scalding tarn so I must think we just lead with taiga and then see what happens. This seems good. We have four, five, and six right now, and we have double four actually, so. Ideally next turn we draw a Hierarch. Oof, big oof. Took the time walk. Man, is this Mesmeric Fiend going to rip power out of our hand every single game? Well, we're just going to play that because we have nothing else to do. That's unfortunate. I mean, they could have a counterspell for Garouk. Now they got double blue up. Can we get a card we can play? That's good. Because if they want to counter this, then our hand is just like mono bibbity bops, you know? Anymore. Oh, 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 griefy. Wait, you. That's fascinating. Huntmaster, why not just play Grief? I'm confused. That's unfortunate. That's why I hate those lands, you know what I mean? We have no black source, but we can't get one either. Um, We do have, I'm just gonna get the Tundra because we do have Copperline Gorge. They have one card in hand. I can't help but feel like we're doing well here. I don't think we're attacking here. I don't want to like trade for wool. Like they, nah. like they can't kill Gideon here. 
Flipping Huntmaster seems pretty good, though. This is an easy trade. They have one card in hand. I feel like it's almost impossible for us to lose, but boy... Oh, I guess they couldn't cast. I guess they couldn't cast grief because they just didn't have double black. That makes sense, but I just I don't know. Still, just seems like not. Okay, <laughs> sure. So you got what? Okay, why don't you just tell me what they got though? Oh boy, revealed ten cards. So I, I guess they got grist, resto, fable, tide hollow, sculler, and knight. Sounds good. This deck is much more interesting than it was a second ago. Hmm. The chat doesn't say it. It says what cards were revealed, but it doesn't say what was put into their hand. It just says... Puts Triggered Ability from niv Mizzet on the stack. Uh, oh, puts Tidal, Escolar, Knight, Grist, and... Okay, you're right. I don't know why, like... Okay, but why are they... Every card is highlighted. Highlighted, highlighted. Even this token. But then for this one, none of these cards are highlighted. So that's weird. So do I make another 2-2 or do I make an emblem? I think we make an emblem here. Because now I don't care what they... Like, they're just going to attack Gideon. So, like, is having one 2-2 this turn better than having... And next turn we get to Elspeth and just kill everything, which includes my Monastery Mentor, unfortunately. And by that, I'm, by everything, I mean just nip it, but... <laughs> Oh, they do get to Night, night of... Yeah, they get to Night of Autumn or Sylvan Library. So now we're just hoping to naturally draw a white source. Or not, a uh, sixth mana, rather. I guess, actually, if they attack with Nimbizit, we still have an answer in Gideon Jura, which is really good. So I guess we're fine. And that's the only thing I care about, because that leaves us able to play else, but that might be, even be better, to be honest. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, let's do that. That's a beautiful, beautiful card. Wow, bribery is a hell of a drug. So we know they have Tide Hollow and Grist. Resto, Luris, Hex Drinker, or Endurance. Does this let me play... Cast a permanent spell. Cast. Oh, that's frustrating. Is it just Hex Drinker? Because this is not a super exciting. Oh, they do a Black Lotus. Ha ha ha. Hilarious. Luris does get back library, but that's pretty much it. And I don't know how exciting that is. But it's also just a 3 2 lifelinker. Yeah, actually, that seems fine. Yeah, they don't want to attack because of Gideon, but they do have Tide Hollow Sculler, which they can cast. Or Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. Did they just get... Oh, they just got Luris back. That's cute. <laughs> oh. How's that? How you like me now? I 
I mean, I assume they were drawing one land. Yep, we did. Okay, so now we can play Gideon Jura. Or we can go Orzov Signet Kaito to make a bunch of huge boys. So we're going to lose, we have four of these. I'm tempted to just attack a Gideon with all of them. And then we get back time walk. I guess they just, because at that point they're just going to eat one. Yeah, all, yeah, let's do that. Oh no, only three can attack. You're right. That's sad. Maybe I just throw this guy out there too, because he's going to die to Elspeth, which we're definitely going to do at some point. So they block here. And then we're just trading Monastery Mentor for Teferi at that point. Because otherwise they go block, block, block. But actually that seems bad too. Yeah, what the hell. I think this is fine. Yeah, they're like, snap block. Sure. Uh, we didn't double prowess because if they were forced to block with this guy, I want to be able to cast time walk. Because I don't know what they're doing. So... think it's Kaito here? Yeah, I, I mean, I wish obviously I did it now, because then we would have... But we still have four 1-1s, one and we do have Elspeth. There's a lot of prowesses. A lot of big boys here. I don't really mind which you take, I think. Oh, fascinating. Wow, that's very good. Cute ephemerate. Yep, that's pretty good. See, now I care more about what you take. No attacks again. Fascinating. See, it doesn't feel like the, the camera moved over again. Am I crazy? Like, it feels like it just moves over, like, a little bit. That was a good draw. Just kidding. Council's Judgment. Noble Hierarchy. Yikes. Um... I feel like we can easily toss Windswept Heath here. Well, that's not great, unfortunately. It might be a Mike Ghost. Do they like Huntmaster here? Oh, they probably like Niv Mizzet, which would be actually. Oh, really? You don't like Niv Mizzet to draw like. Ten more cards? <laughs> like, that's interesting. God, I'm really kind of discouraged at these two little one ones. Yep. I'm tempted to. Yeah, we're just gonna block with colonnade here because I think the one random card we draw is probably going to be better than 
This is also a 5-5. Five five. It's so close to killing it. Play, play your Grist. Sure. Yeah, now they get rid of. Sure. Something good. So frustrating, dude. <sighs> yeah, I think we messed up on that. Monastery Mentor turn. Crack a fetch, okay. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. And the reason we attack like that was because we knew there's two creatures that we don't care about them losing. One was Ravager, one was Knight. They might be willing to lose either of those. So the third creature we got in there would be able to get, get to Grist. After those two, they would they would have to be throwing away one of these two guys. That's Why aren't you attacking with the 4-4? Four, four? I'm at 16. You put me to 6. Cool. I, I mean, I don't know how to win this game when we're just drawing fucking mono lands. Like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands out of seventeen. Yeah, I don't know. Where they draw a six. This was this this was milled with grist. No, that was discarded with Dak, and this was milled with grist. So actually one, two, three, so say seven to I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's just really frustrating. I agree. I, I think Gideon would have been much more impactful. Um, I just assumed they had better threats than one Hex Drinker, one Luris, and whatever other trash was, was in there. I mean, also, like, Tide Hollow Sculler blinking with Ephemerate just to get rid of our last two cards is also extremely frustrating. Cool, you have two very high-impact Planeswalkers. I'll take them both. Eh, what can you do? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we had no idea. I thought they would have... Like, I saw an Ugin in their deck, which is an eight-mana card, so I figured, like, hey, you gotta have some big, threatening creatures... They did not. Yes, I know you shouldn't count fetches. That's why I was getting frustrated toward the end because it wasn't an accurate count. Wonderful. I mean, I'm honestly tempted to just wait a turn to play Signet so they don't draw a card. Uh, no spoilers for Last of Us, please. I have not watched it in the one day it's been out yet.
Okay, I think what this deck is lacking is a uh, Wrath of God effect. Uh, yes, I did play the game. <sighs> Fuck, God, I, I, I feel like I already feel like we're kind of far behind. Like, should I be worrying about them drawing cards? I don't know. Will that change the game? I don't know. Hello? <laughs> Katie with the question mark at the end always seems like like you're making a call and no one's answering on the other end. I actually feel like we're way too far behind already, ironically. I haven't, haven't, I haven't clicked OK and and allowed my own spell to resolve yet. I mean, if I play Time Walk and then I play into something else, they're going to draw two cards, and it's Time Walk isn't as great as you think it is when you have nothing on the board. I'm just going to be the same amount of behind the next turn, or I can just play the thing I'm going to play on the second turn on the first turn. Okay, that's actually fine. I don't care about that. But we do take five here and go to four. Yeah, they only draw once. But, I mean, we can't cast more than two things a turn anyway right now. So, <laughs> cute. Amazing. Wow, this deck felt really solid, and now less so. I don't, I don't know, it's frustrating. So I got Worn Power Stone for Oblivion Ring. I feel like I have a really a lot of good defenses if I can get like an Elspeth down or a Gideon down or, uh, you know, Solitude out. Like, I feel like our deck has the right tools, but it's just we're not. <sighs> I feel like this hand is just not going to do it. Like, we don't have the second color for the Renin 6. I like this, though. <laughs> we'll get that bribery going. I'm not sure what this time walk argument is. Like, it, it literally would have drawn us a card. That's what it does. It's an explore at that point. It says draw a card. Like, we had no other cards to play on the same turn as time walk. So we just go into the next turn with nothing on the board still. So it's like the same turn as before we played the time walk. It just doesn't make any sense to me, I think. I mean, I have like eight Planeswalkers in the deck and ideally you want one or two on board and then you time walk and activate them twice. Like that's the goal. But like just time walking to draw an extra card is not really the most ideal scenario.
Well, I obviously didn't think I was going to die the next turn. <laughs> they didn't have lethal on board. So like, I mean, obviously holding your time walk until you actually can profit from playing it is what you want to do. Yeah, you can have your card this time. Like, the strategy is not to be like, play all your spells at inopportune times because you're losing and you just don't want to have spells in your hand when you die. Like, that's not... Arcane Proxy. Does this come into play as like a 4-3? Does that do anything? I'm always tempted to just play Skyclave Apparition to get rid of the Esper Sentinel, but they have uh, Giver of Runes. So that wouldn't work. I did, yeah, it would have been a desperation time walk. I, that's fine. I'm fine with a desperation time walk. If they have lethal on board, I'm going to do it. But they didn't have lethal on board, and I didn't know they had time walk. So we're talking about a situation that was not the case at the time. <laughs> actually, Soulfire Grandmaster seems kind of fine here. I actually kind of like Wall of Omens, to be honest. <sighs> No, we'll take that guy. Oh, what up, Thunair? Thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate you. Katie, are you upstairs in the bed? Are you even here anymore? Who knows? I mean, our hand right now is literally two lands, so... Well, they're playing Dynamo because it gets back Time Walk for three mana. Which is good. It's almost good enough. Yeah, the reason we like Soulfire Grandmaster is because we do have the potential to draw Time Walk or Ancestral. And now only one of those is relevant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dunair, have a good night, buddy. Hmm. That's fascinating. Does that do anything? I don't know. really frustrating. I'm just going to let them draw because uh, this isn't, I mean, they're just going to time twist her next turn. And we're going to draw one card and they're going to draw seven. So I guess we already have that right now. So <laughs> I mean, if we go to attack, they just block and give pro white. So that does nothing. So I guess we make you attack. Man, with the cards in this deck, I cannot think of a more disappointing series of games so far. Not the plague, I apologize, buddy.
Okay. So I guess we're not time twistering here. Sure, you get your eye back. Fantastic. Now we draw time walk. Ready? <laughs> You got it. <laughs> I don't understand. Do we have more than 17 lands on the deck? Do we accidentally pull like 20 lands in our deck? I'm just very confused. I mean, we're definitely killing this Narset here. On the bright side, we don't have to worry about paying for Esper Sentinel because we don't actually have any spells. So that's cool. Okie dokie. Oh, this guy? Sure. You got it. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's time twister. Just that guy, huh? Sure. Let's get, we have Tyga, Savannah, I guess. Understand. I do not think the potential to flood out is this high. I think this is just absolute fluke. Especially when I'm thinning my deck with fetch lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine lands have been removed from the deck. Out of 13 cards. The non-land cards are Bribery, Orzov Signet, Ignoble Hierarch, and Gideon. Two of which are mana sources. So yeah, I mean, even if the deck has 20, 20 mana sources and 20 not mana sources, uh, there's no reason it shouldn't be an even distribution. It should be, it should be way closer to 6-7 rather than 4-10, 4-9. Maybe if you played more Squishmallows in your deck, babe, do you think I just pass them or do you think we didn't open any what do you think oh good well at least somebody's getting planeswalkers not the plague does this count as as the planeswalker deck <laughs> oh boy A stomping ground. I think you didn't open it. Yeah, it's true. I think they're above even mythic, you know. Is there anything I can even draw? I don't know. Ugin would be great here, but we don't have an Ugin. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We do have enough to... Are they just going to Mystic Confluence this? Oh, because its power is two now? Ugh, God. Hmm. This and this is fine, sure. Yes. That's how badly I don't want you to draw one card. I mean, I'm sure they're just going to Mystic Confluence. Which I think would probably prompt a concession. Yep, they're just choosing their modes. Cool. Fantastic. What would we have drawn? Elspeth, Treachery, and Flooded Strand. Great. So, 0-2 twice. That is the most unfortunate series of events I can think with this deck, which looks pretty good. I, I Like I said, I think it needs a Wrath Effect. And we have yet to draw Mana Drain. Um, Solitude probably could have been good. Elspeth making tokens. Like, it's funny because we have Orzhov Singh, Net Worn Power Stone, Double Hierarch, and Oracle of Muldai. We have a bunch of ways to get ahead on mana. There is only 17 lands. This hand actually seems fantastic, which means we'll definitely get wrecked. Yep, it's happening already. Okie dokie. Then Bumbo, who's Bumbo? Oh god, it's gonna be like a Studio Ghibli character or something that I just don't know. Well, we already have a blue source in Noble Hierarch, but I'm sure it will die. So let's not be, let's not get too excited. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to support the channel and mitigate some of the, the pain we feel during situations like this, yep, there it goes. Uh, you can definitely feel free to subscribe or follow or check out HelloFresh, which is the, the sponsor of the stream up, up, up above. Uh, I guarantee your meals will be better than these games. If you try HelloFresh, you can get uh, like six to 10 meals between 30 and 40 bucks, which is an unreal deal with the promo code. And I also get a significant kickback. So if you guys want to support the channel and also get some free food out of it, Free being uh, imp implying that the, the money you're paying is going to support the channel rather than the food. Uh, definitely check them out. It would help me out a ton. Uh, I find it hard to believe that only six people have signed up because there's a ton of people in chat and a ton of YouTube watchers. So if you guys want to support the channel and get food because you have to eat and you're eating anyway, definitely consider it. I would really appreciate it. Let's go here and silent clearing. This is going well. Again, what would what would help us out a lot here? A wrath effect. Like we're just not drawing our cards fast enough to like combat. Like we've also faced like what three? <laughs> How many aggro decks have we faced? At least two. Plus we've bribery twice and they're both pretty mediocre. Oh, we're also at six? Yeah, this game's over. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like this is this is actually a nightmare. <laughs> oh boy. Now we're bringing the oust in. Take out Mana Drain. I just don't think we're going to be keeping mana up. Take out Treach Take out Bribery, I guess. Good lord. Okay, you realized. I mean, to be fair, I could have just played Gideon and made them attack Gideon. Yeah, that's kind of the same, right? Sure. 
Also, what up, Nicholas? Yeah, we'll just play Taiga here, I guess. Was it five mana gids? Uh, there was both. I can't see, so I don't know. That's unfortunate. This is so funny. I'm so discouraged right now that I don't even think this game can this this deck can win a game. We're gonna get Tundra for obvious reasons. <laughs> Seeing is my job. That's quite quite literal. That is true. I'm sad you can't see. Yeah, it's rough. Uh, I would love to counsel's judgment if we can get another white source. Beautiful. Do you think at any point we're gonna we're gonna pay life? I don't think so. I'll name this thing. You will too? Sounds good. <laughs> uh, put on top, pay four. Look at this. Look how greedy we're being. Uh, ancestral. We're just hoping for something, though, you know? Then we're going to go Hierarch. Time walk. See, this is a time walk turn because we advanced the board and drew a bunch of cards that we can then play on the next turn. Too greed. It was a little greed. You're not. You're not wrong, my dear. Uh, how much mana is this? Six. So seven next turn. So put on top. Do we Kaito and Worn Power Stone? That seems probably better. All right, so anyway, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight mana next turn. Kaito phases out, so we get at least one more activation off of him. And Koth. Oh, eight, nine, ten damage. Oh, God. We're always having a good time. I guess we go to five. That seems good. Mountain is red. Okie dokie. Every time I've had Karn, I wished it was Ugin. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can play Garrick and Elspeth. Does that do it? We block one. We don't get rid of Karn. So that's not great. Karn, or we don't get rid of Koth, rather. Karn gets rid of Koth. But then we just have to chump block, and if we don't, we die. So... That's cool. Uh, I definitely have more than seven. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how magic works. Um, 
Can we just make two blockers? Probably. <laughs> Is that good? Probably not. Garrick fight, I mean, either way it's the same and it loses to any removal spell, but one of these ways we at least get to keep a Garrick around. Let's get rid of the colonnade. Not the plague. I'm so sorry. This deck seemed really sweet. Ancestral, Time Walk, Multiple Planeswalkers, Treachery, Bribery, some Ramp. Unfortunately, we were just missing those key components. <laughs> why even, like, why even just, just fucking kill me? Come on, dude. Oh, wow. That's hilarious, dude. Jesus. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam the buttons. You know what to do. And uh, support the channel with HelloFresh. Really appreciate it if you do. Um, I know some of you need to eat food. That's what I've heard. So definitely consider it. Uh, it's really good. It, they've been great every time we've ordered them. And uh, it's like 5 to 4 to $5 a meal. So I don't know how many, uh, how many meals you need, but it's a good rate. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.